Hi, my dear knowledge worker and HR practitioners. Welcome to another lecture. This lecture is an extension of my preceding lectures. That is, in the preceding lecture, we discussed about the non-analytical job evaluation scheme or non-quantitative non methods. Moving forward on that, we're going to look at now that is analytical job evaluation scheme are quantitative methods to evaluate the jobs. In the analytical job evaluation scheme, we're going to use two methods. These are point factor methods and factor comparison method. Let us move on that. These are in green colors. Quantitative methods are the analytical job evaluation schemes that we're gonna use it. Factor comparison method and then point factor methods. In the point factor methods, we're gonna break down the job into compensable factors, into segments, are into elements. What these compensable factors are segments or element means? These compensable factors are segment means to now in the previous lectures just we mentioned about we compare job to job. Here based on the compensable factor that we are going to use or break the job into compensable factors that reflect the dimension along which job is perceived to add value to the organization. So these are the factors that could add value or that form the jobs, the compensable factors. Break down the job into compensable factors factors that form the jobs if you gonna see that what is the worth of the job or the size of the jobs these are the compensable factors that reflect the size of the job so these factors are present in all jobs each factor is divided into hierarchy of levels that we're gonna look at and finally are the source of evaluating the jobs by using the compensable factor these are our job job descriptions or goal profile so we have these we are going to break down the job first then all the factors are presented there and then each job is divided into hierarchy of levels let us move on and see one by one as per the Equal Pay Act, U.S. Equal Pay Act, Chapter 7 of Civil Rights Act states that all the jobs in the U.S. that should have these compensable factors, that is skills, effort, responsibility, working conditions, and supervision of others. So, at, but as per your organization strategy, your business you may change these factors and based on the HAPE land guide profile chart there are three factors know-how problem solving and the accountability so we're gonna evaluate the job to determine the relative worth by using the point factor methods first we will evaluate the jobs based on these factors then we will move forward on that on that let's let us evaluate the job based on the equal pay act so we're going to take these factors and it was mentioned that first of all we should determine the factors who gonna decide about the factors in organizations, when the organizations are going to evaluate the job by point factor methods, uh, there should be a committee should be formed 
there should be a panel which should decide which compensable factor we need it and then decide about the degree this is the degree declination of each factor and then assign the point these are the committee is formed and the committee decide which factors that could add value to the organization that are most important for the success and the effectiveness of the organization and these factors are aligned with the organization values missions and also the vision so i have prepared this chart degrees 1 to 5 you may change these degrees from 1 to 3 1 to 4 or even 1 to 6 definition and the point it depends upon the organizations how the organization is going to move which factors the organization is going to uh, assign to evaluate all the jobs then this is one only table i have prepared you need to prepare the other tables if you can see it this is for the skill still you need to develop the same charts you can change the degree on that you may change the definition and you may change the numbers so you need to also develop responsibility effort working condition and supervision of others you need to develop those those tables and keep in mind i have given this on 50 to 250 you may change also the uh, uh, the points here we are going to evaluate the job that job is for hr manager we want to determine the relative worth the size of the job based on the point factor methods and based on these five compensable factor now we have placed these compensable factors in vertical orders and degrees are 1 to 5 and the points that we have assigned like in the preceding example 150 to 250 here if you can see against the scale 52 to 150 that is 50 to 250 now you have developed the chart also about the responsibility effort working conditions and supervision of others and populated here based on our committee in the organization that decided this position requires 3 degree in order to evaluate the job and 3 3 degree is 150 uh before we uh, evaluate the job we agreed upon all the positions those are of managers will fall under degree 3 senior manager 4 and the directors will fall under degree 5 5 so we assigned 50 then you have developed these four charts and populated the data here and based on all these charts we populated the data and in green colors we determined that against the responsibility the role of the hr manager is going to give 150 points efforts 160 that will fall in degree 4 uh, and then working conditions 90 and supervision of others that is I, we have assigned that is degree seventy. If you can see, there are against three factors, three degree number three and two factors this one, and the total score that have been assigned to these positions are six hundred twenty. The lowest scores are ninety, and the highest scores are nine hundred, and. this job has got 620 scores all the jobs those are within this bracket 615 to 689 they will fall under grade 8 these are from 900 to downwards we split these we divided this uh Uh, against the divided the numbers against the grades and positions 
all the positions those will fall from 615 to 689 that will be having the grade 8 so the job, the job manager HR he has been assigned grade 8 these are the sequence of uh, the proceeding that is the numbers of grades and now we have the grade and pay structure in the grade and pay structures we have assigned grade 8 this one here we are going to fill it up this in the following lectures as we will move forward on that so if you can see it very simple examples on that so you used compensable factors skills effort responsibility working conditions and supervision of others you prepare this one is the factors then you have divided into uh, into levels different levels different hierarchy of levels and these factors then apply to all the jobs this is simple straightforward little mathematic but not much so you can determine the relative work of the job or the size of the job this is the point factor method let us uh, go on this by using the compensable factors that are the hay plan or we could see the guide chart profile of the hay the hay plan the consultancy that is using uh, three factors those are know-how problem solving and the accountability based on that we will also evaluate the job but this is the same method that is point factor method the way is bit little difference under the point factor methods in the know-how here know-how there are sub factors of each factors here that is from that is the functional expertise human relations managerial skills problem solving that is under the problem solving you have three factors these factors are environment challenge then it is also freedom to act and the last is accountability impact on the end result and magnitude in the know-how, we have assigned 15 points, problem solving total 20, 22. You may change it based on the organization strategy, based on the reward philosophy or the reward strategy approach. What is the approach or the defining that is the guiding principles based on the organization that is going to apply uh, on the reward management. So 15 points, these 15 points have been divided into 3 factors, 5, 6 and 4. And similarly here we have also divided. We are going to evaluate here 3 jobs, HR manager, logistic, junior logistic manager and finance controller. These are the 3 jobs that we have put it in also horizontal order and we are going to evaluate it. First, 5 points for the financial expertise, HR manager have been assigned 4, logistic manager also 4 and the controller 5. Based on what? As we mentioned in our preceding lectures, job evaluation, when we talk about the job evaluation to determine the relative work by establishing the hierarchy of jobs, and the evaluation means judgment. This judgment is based on the experience, based on the committee set and agreed upon. Again, that is a judgment. How successful, how useful it is, again, it depends upon the organization to organizations. Your organization based on your organization size, your organization revenue, your organization using the technology, locations and also the sectors may have the different points. So out of 5, 4, 4 and 5 allotted, 
managerial skills out of six got four HR managers, junior managers, junior registry manager three, and controller five. Human resource manager, this one human relations very important since we are working in the HR. We know that HR department is based on the relations, and if we don't have the relation with the customers, we will we will not be in the organization. Our survival is certainly based on our customers, and our customers are the employees. Four, three, and four. So. Out of 15, HR manager got 12, junior, this one is logistic manager 10, and this is 14. Similarly, in the problem solving, HR manager got 14, 12, and 16, and in the accountability, HR manager got 15, and logistic 14, and 18. The total scores are 57, HR manager got 41. And here the junior logistic manager got 36 and the controller got 48. So now we determine the relative worth and now we can slot them. In grade 9, all the positions those are falling within 45 to 49, they will be assigned grade 9. So if you can see the controller position, that is 48, so far in grade 9. HR manager, 40 to 44. Let us move on to see it. That is 41 and the logistic manager 36. So this is the methods that we are going to use. And then this is uh, moving forward on the following grades. And now we have placed these jobs into the here, into the our grade and pay structure. This is still the grade structure. When we will attach the pay ranges, it will become grade and pay structure. So still we have this on the grade structures, and in that we can populate it, and we evaluated the jobs now using two methods. These are under the point factor method. We have seen two different compensable factors. One is that is skills, effort, responsibility, working condition and supervision of others. You may also, uh, when you are going to evaluate based on your business, you may also have an other factors. Maybe you can add it communication skills, you can add it problem solving, that is uh, focusing on the customers, that is business orientations, that so and so, so you can add it, okay? So these are the factors based on these two, we determine the relative worth of the job by using the compensable factors, that is these are, and we determine the relative worth of those jobs. Now moving forward on the factor compensator method, that is a little different, but take into account the example of the preceding slide, and here just keep in mind, uh, these are the degrees. We are going to allocate monetary value based on the degree. The degree that the uh, uh, against the um, against the factors we have assigned. So if you can see it, manager HR job has been assigned the under degree three, one, two, three, falls three times, and under degree four, falls two times. Here in this chart, look at here degree and this is the dollar value per hour against the five compensable factor. If the managers fall under degree one, we will in our factors we will put it 444 four, four here. However, the under manager position falls here skills, responsibility and the working conditions three times, two times efforts and also the supervision of others. So per hour cost, total cost per hour of this position is, when you will add it these, these are the degrees, against each compensable factor you have allocated the dollar value and when you will sum up 
that will come the total value or the total total uh, cost that the organization is going to give to one employee as a working as HR manager here look at this one here and so HR manager working in the US one organization so the cost will be 37 dollar uh, per hour again it, it, it might differ from organization to organization and some organizations the value of the organization HR manager is far this one is maybe that is 50 so depends upon the organization size of the organization's business revenue all these things and then per day cost is when you're going to calculate the cost per hour then multiply by suppose that is hypothetical suppose eight hours a day the manager is working then you can say that is per hour cost into uh, into eight the cost will come 296 per day and then in order to calculate the cost per month you can say into 30 296 you cannot type about the 30 so this is the cost of the per month again this com this system is for the pair comparison method very complex system in evaluating the jobs I did not come across any organizations that is using this method so we should use very simple method and that could be understandable small organizations they might use the methods that is uh, uh, ranking method if 20 or 50 employees are job classification methods if the organizations are more than hundreds or, or they think even less than hundred the organization may use within the organizations uh, they can use the point factor method. In the world, the survey states that about 80% organizations are using the point factor methods and when they, when they use the point factor method, mostly the organization have contract with the third party like the Hay Consultancy Firm example is there are other lot of firms that Ain Havert, Mercer, Tower Watson and also uh, people plus a lot of organizations are there that that are working they have the data of all sectors and they work together with the employees and they determine the relative worth so based on that if you can see it here uh, we have reviewed the point factor method in two ways and we determine the relative worth we determine the relative worth in the point factor method in the factor comparison method we also assign the monitor values so when you did it this one still you were able only to determine the internal relative worth you got your data and you compare it you you determine the relative worth either by quantitative method or non quantitative method and still you gonna look into the external market you have the internal relativity so you see this in the internal you determine the internal relativity if the organization is going to attract and retain the high quality people so we need to look into the external market what is the worth of the job in the external market so that is in the external market to know we gonna see it that is market rate analysis market rate analysis is that is conducting that is the, we are going to conduct this survey of the market in the labor market and determine the relative worth of each charge that we're going to talk in the following lecture and we will see how we're going to see if this one internal relative worth then the external then decide about what is the organization strategy is the organization going to lead the market, lag the market and match the market? So thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully uh, we will, we will, I will catch you very soon in the next lectures that we are going to talk about the uh, market rate analysis and bye.